Hello everyone, this is Serious Trivia. Welcome back to the episode of our legendary Trom Warlord Liu Bei Let's Play. We continue for episode 6 from turn 59 in the spring season of 202. So we are still at war here in the south. And Shizia's faction plus Gaoliang's faction here has declared war on us and we'll continue that fight. We just did the spring faction council, picked up some income boost so we have some artificial income here. We do have this from picking up the reform for coin minting. It kind of makes sense. It also kind of doesn't make sense. Historically speaking, if you're minting the same coin, if you're doing the standard Wu Zhu coin, which is by weight, is what this coin is. Uh, it's a Han Dynasty Wu Zhu. Wu Zhu is the unit of weight, amount of sort of copper used in the coin. So if you're doing just the standard coin, there is no sort of inflation, there's no monetary policy, there's not even illegal minting. It's seen as a commodity. So if you have access to copper and you mint the coin to the same standard as the official coin, as in you have the same weight, then it's a valid currency. It's a hard currency. So there's really not any major inflation associated with it. Although during the Three Kingdoms, Liu Bei and Sun Quan did print uh, bigger denomination coins using the same weight. So you have the same coin with the same amount of copper, but you call it like a hundred times coin or a thousand times coin. And you're basically kind of stealing the public wealth in a sense by using your newly minted one. But the effect from those coin, it's much more severe than like 10% here. Anyhow, back to the game. We ended with this battle here. We picked up Delger. We don't need the school. We don't need the marketplace. And we also... Hmm. We have what? Large city here. I actually want to downgrade. City build is enough. It's a good source of food because we will pick up the farmland, there is peasantry. We also have peasantry from our tax collection, so we could keep it. But if we're only going to have four slots, then we shouldn't. It should be tax, state workshop, private workshop, in, And we just don't have a slot for it. I guess we keep upgrading this. It's either this or speed for the retinue. Actually, speed for the retinue. We're not really going to be replenishing much in foreign territory anyways, so... Not really that important. Now, the fight was pretty rough, although we're replenishing decently fast. Yeah, we're okay. We're in no rush to wipe them out. We'll take our time. We can assign a new administrator here, too. Ah, Koroi is here. So look at all the bonuses. The all sources comes from high cunning, which is not bad. I think Koroi has the job now. Yeah, I mean, there are a lot of buildings that will come online, so I guess they already built a couple. We will throw him here, at least for the first couple round of constructions. So he's all good. We are going to attack them next turn, so we don't need to do anything here. We still need to save up money for them. We have big plans for these spies down the road. We're not going to recall them back. Period. We're going to up our spies with reforms, with our prestige points, and then we're just going to control his entire court and try to manipulate him in the late game. We need some family members. Once we have those secured, we can improve relation and kind of work our way around things. Also assassinate if it comes down to that. Civil wars, the options endless. All right, so we've been tanking public order for a few turns. It looks still pretty okay. 
So it looks like he got all the bonuses for the administrator job. Now we can maybe work on some active skills. Into the Breach is not bad. We can grab that. Ooh, corruption reduction. Let's get this queued up. It's starting to creep up a little bit, even though it's not so bad right now, because we do have like a lot of administrator spam to help out the situation. And I think we can end turn. I don't think there's anything else diplomatically. It's a lot of stuff. I wouldn't be surprised to see a Kingdom of Wu show up very soon. They seem to be doing a number on Cao Cao's faction. Ah, Kingdom of Wu. That's because they stole the seat. Yep, they stole the seat. And they vassalized the... Oh, this is... Oh, he's coming back to us. That's not what we want, but... That's fine. His value just dropped too low, I guess. So he's coming back to us. Wait, we just did interference. They're still plus seven. Wow, they stepped up the counter spying. We want to know what their current satisfaction is. 27, so we don't drop it too low. 44, and Lusul, where, where is Lusul? Is he on the bench? No. 60, okay, so we could do a couple discredit factions. Right, plus seven, we forgot. And then when he comes back, we'll have an open slot to kind of see who we can grab next. He got promoted and returning, huh? Alright, one more turn on that. We could just advance. Alright, we're gonna have to fight this. They just have too many units, but shouldn't be very difficult. This army is pretty elite. We get to see our bomb slingers finally in action. Alright, the weather is pretty good. Let's find a gate that doesn't have too many overlaps.
Ooh, are they coming out? They might be actually coming for a field battle. Looks that way. Hold on, we're gonna wait till we get closer. Let me sort out the back here. Okay, the unit that we actually are worried about are the slingers. How this goes. We didn't hit the slingers, but we we hit plenty of stuff. Here comes the bombs. Friendly fire a little bit. Um, I think it's going to route. Not gonna sweat it. Just wanna delay them a little bit. If we can kill most of these slingers, we can get back. Get them out. Fight. All right, got a few of them bouncing back. Okay, 
上兽首。All right, let her leave. He might be stuck there for a little bit. Drive them a little bit deeper here. Looks like a chain route. All right, wasn't super clean, but it was all right. Still a pretty fun unit. Obviously, the comp lacks a front line, so it might get a little rough sometimes. We'll have to see. We also had to move our unit. It wasn't also a clean line of sight. Hopefully, in a more open battlefield, will be more useful. All right, we get to finish up the commandery. Now, to be honest, Zhang He's fighting prowess wasn't very impressive. That's not bad. We should actually try to get the faction wide bonus there. Right now we can march down and fight with them. Are they still at war with them? They are. Yeah, they're fighting each other, but we're gonna push down over here. Why you? We can go back to war with them eventually. Once this army presses up to here. All right, we moved. We have a decent chunk of cash. So if we don't see too many things that we need to upgrade. Well, that one doesn't cost a lot. We do need to upgrade this. All right, the rest is yours. What can we get here? So Hidden Spear Assault is his sort of specialty, but I don't think we're going to go with this. I think we actually want to try out our faction unique unit on him. They are very pricey to recruit. We might need to wait one more turn. It might be better if they have like 18k to spend because it's not going to be cheap. Gonna be a pretty heavy infantry army for the most part. I should so it doesn't have any good range component for recruitment. Obviously, we like we like that, but unit-wise, maybe someone else is better. Maybe we need a not Guanping. We we might be better off with a cavalry commander. We can throw him in for another army. Yeah, but we are going to wait a turn for our income to stack up a bit more.
不可让尔等祸乱天下。嗯、uh, ，no。如你所愿。He's just trying to use us to attack Sun Tzu from behind because he's losing. And because he took an emperor seat, he never generated one himself. So even though Cao Cao's still kingdom, he doesn't have another second seat because that's Cao Cao's old seat. So I wonder, does that take him out of the running for like the three spots? So they will only have like one seat between the two of them. It gives us a little bit more time. So at least this reduces the recruitment, the construction cost, but the replenishment. My God, I have an army there. Oh, actually, the force gets dragged in. Sure, let's drag them in. No battle will die. Wei Ming, Jian Chuan. I'll take that. All right, pretty much everything we have to build is built. He's not back yet. And we can invest army here. All right, we can't afford that. Because he's... Oh, we still can't afford this. Okay, maybe we go light on these. Yeah, we had to spend the entire 19k pretty much for this stack. But they should do wonders. It will be worth it. Right, they're just gonna clear the path down here. The fighting continues. Uh, Shuxia continue to hit us. Got the open slot now. Nobody knew. Let's fix that. Now it's plus eight.
Hmm, everyone's pretty happy. All right, plus eight, we can still do another round here. Administrator of Ling Ling, I guess. Hmm. She's really low, but she's just not willing to come over. We'll keep trying. He's brought over some recent event issues on him, which is going to kind of cause some problems for our faction for a few turns, I guess. One ping at 26 is way too low. I feel like... I guess we'll keep her... 41. We should just summon some of them onto the field right now. Maybe a force. Here. Jin Ding Bui. Nati Uti. This is only thirty nine. All right, she's a burn officer. Pretty useful, actually. Should just stay in the army on the field. Five reserve, not so important. All right, Guo Si Jiang Yang could use a title. We only have the commerce one. We need a superstitious battler. Very nice, a little bit too low. Let him be patrol commander for now. We can afford to spend a bit of money to make sure everyone's above like 50-ish. Right now, we just need to catch up in terms of prestige points. Too many duchies on the map and kingdoms, of course. Cao Cao is losing. Pretty hard, actually. Uncle Tribe were just a couple armies on the field. Alright, 
more important to preserve their supplies in the winter. Same thing here. They expanded, which is good. It means less people here. We don't need to go tall because we don't have the right reform for the buildings yet. We could use the state workshop here. All right, two more turns. We'll let that stay. They all seem pretty angry, but they're not willing to turn. We'll see is a maybe now. I mean, we don't have enough money. We could cancel building, but I think he's probably still going to be there next turn. So no rush. Okay, we kind of see where Gong Sun is. Looks like Ren Shao pretty much lost. Or maybe he's holed up more to the north. But Cao Cao's on the back foot. If Sun Tzu keeps going, Cao Cao might get pretty close to being wiped. And Sun Tzu is using his newfound power to, can, to vassalize a bunch of smaller factions too. I think we might just hit them if we can go to war without suffering too much untrustworthiness. Are we close to ranking up? 42 points. We're gonna try to see if we can get close. Right, he's gonna run away to not drag in. We'll come back here. We'll fight this for sure. This is worth how many points? Rank four. Okay. That's a small city. So 12 points of prestige. Shinshishinwei,我等坚若磐石,而等尽可来攻。释放怒火,消灭敌军。全力奋战,则战无不胜。都放了吧。They can probably defend it. And just in case, we'll provide some help. Uh, they should wait one more turn. Okay, so we have to just get this fighting done. Ah, don't see he's gone for now. No worries, we might get him back. We 
You might also wait a few turns for more points. I think this is the final spy related. Yeah, we probably need to scale this back a little bit. Please, are you done? We can leave that army out of it. We don't need them to be involved. We could benefit from the night battle morale debuff. Alrighty, so this battle keeps crashing for me, which is a bummer because we can't delegate it. So we have to just siege it. Really don't like this, but I guess we don't really have a choice. If they want to sally out and fight us, that'd be great. So we'll see if that happens during the end turn. We'll continue with the rest. I could instantly deplete it and we can start attritioning right away. Actually useful at this moment. Peasantry income, one time satisfaction boost or better build up. You're on the field. Okay, lack of purpose is going away. Recent event's gonna go away. I guess I can make him a warter. I can also make him lead. No one has any bonus. If he leads, there's a satisfaction boost for leading, which should kick in next turn. Why are these so hard to muster? We're not ready to go tall yet. We can prepare another front just to get some generals on the field. Alright, I think we're good. We'll let them respond. I wouldn't even mind if they have another army show up. I'll take that fight. And with the mod, I think the game is going to lag a bit in the late game with so many armies on the field and so many things to process with the battles between the AI armies. <laughs> All right, they're duchy as well. There's two duchies, two kingdoms, and we're not close yet. 
their armies are getting pulled away to fight in their legions war. No, come fight us. No peace. No, they're running away. Okay. And they're taking attrition. So hopefully we can delegate this so we don't have to load into the fight. Yes, we can take out some population. I'm okay with that. They each have their own seat now. They regenerated one even though they lost so much territory. Okay, so he's back. As we predicted that he will be back. I think he's new. Alright, so he's available too. He's the administrator in Changsha, which is no longer their capital. So I can actually steal Changsha away from Sun Tzu, I think. Not available right now. So maybe we can't do that. Maybe it's still in the program as their capital, Runan. I'm guessing that's just none. All right, we'll take Dongxi as well. Mm, I think we're we're happy right now. No family members. Quite a bit of our money went into the acquiring of spies. Sure. Still can't. Guess we'll still siege them down a little bit. Assuming it's still bugged. Yeah, a little bit better. The recent event, 10 points went away. We're probably just going to march. Or else we're not going to be able to reach that next turn. I still don't think we can reach them next turn. I uh, hate that our main army is stuck over here, but uh, looks like we just can't do very much. Might as well just wipe them out. I mean, what can we really get from them? Vassalage with autonomy. Eh, what's the point? They pay us some money. I mean, they technically can't give us land. We're just going to take it for ourselves. We haven't met them yet. Now, their land's not particularly lucrative. Oh, they expanded. They expanded out. They have more than just this. You'll be all my. Eighty-two for peace. Oh, then we unify. Yeah, then we unify. You 
Alright, we can throw... Only one of the strategists that we have. So we do pick up Tianyu. Alright, Militia we definitely don't need. Do we care about these Jiljin Raiders? They have stock, Flame Slinger. Basically they go in, sneak in, and set a fire. I can entertain the idea of that unit. Guess we could entertain that if we're keeping her. Embezzler, you say. So bandit skill tree. I think we're firing her, so let's just get rid of it. Bye to her. Village chief. I think we're firing him. And then we're going to fire him. And him. All right, we have Shusia, his full set bonus, burn trait, he's lame, didn't pick up a grudge, which is great. Poison arrows on units. Spice guard. Okay, fun. We picked her up just for these. Now I feel like we don't need them. She's doing a Simon right now, but we can still fire her. I don't think she has an item. Nope. Right, she has some fun units. Right, Shizia is down to one territory. Okay, that made sense. Now we go to war with them. Yeah, we'll take this first. Action wide bonus. Even though it's only a little bit. Shusia should come out. I don't know where we're setting him, though. I'll send him out later. Will you guys stay a good trade partner? He is trusting. But he doesn't like us. I can force it. I can force the unification, but then he's not a trade partner. So just to make sure he doesn't suddenly decide to turn. Alright, so that's that. We continue to attack this way. They will attack down into the tribes and then probably go take them on. We'll have a new attack against Duosu. And they're going down. 
I have too many points, then... Ah, we can take the territory. Changsha. It's a juicy grab. Imperial City. Whew. And we get a rank up to Duke. All right, we got five points. Uh, we want more spies. We want more administrators. Let's max out administrators or... Yeah, max out administrators. Two more spies is good enough. So We're finally catching up a little bit. Okay, so I think this is how the game did it. Tell us spawned one. Okay, so it's still in Trent, right? That's fine. There's still an open spot. It just a double counting on location. I wonder if they're saying that Cao Cao generated two and then he stole one and then Chen is twice. That'd be a weird glitch. I, I hope that's not the case. Oh, rank 10. Uh, we can downgrade this really, really fast and we wouldn't have a food problem. And they're going to be working hard to try to connect this and we can also to snatch more administrators down the line and steal more land that way. Ling Ling is something we would want. She's already been hit. Hmm. We need to drop someone low enough, right, so that we can apply another minus 10 on them. Now, when Renjun comes back to us, he will have that minus 10, and we might just take his item and just kick him out. We don't need this. We don't need this. We don't need this. And I think we have to kind of... We don't have to rush it down that much. This, we have to rush down to get positive food. And we don't even need a large, let's do that. Put Trumpel back in would be a big slap in the face. Trissi is pretty good. I think we did everything. They can move a little bit more. And that's that's about it. Oh, they vassalized. Okay, I accept. We don't need to mess with them right now out in the open. We can steal much more. After all, he's our little shadow puppet empire. The bigger he gets, the more land we can steal.
这是我方提案，你毫无荣耀可言。啊、uh, ，We're about to pick up 徐树文、诸葛亮。Oh, Huang Gai has Tang Wu. Maybe it's time for our guy to uh, come home. We need a couple more points here. And Tang Wu is right next to us, so it's perfect. So if we look at diplomacy. Actually, have to look it through faction groupings. They have Liu Yan. Zheng Min here is also with them. We can't attack them. But we can attack Duo Si. They just picked them up. They also have Nan Hai, which is actually down here. They also have Ying Shao right here. Okay, so there's a lot of factions that we can't touch. Ooh, they're getting really close, and it's actually negative, so we can easily make some promises and make him agree, and then we pick up Badung as well. Alright, so we can't take any of these because of Sun Tzu, but we can take the looter. We'll try to get this. Just trying to get here so they can start recruiting next turn. She is not administrator, but we want this. Alright, we should have enough supplies to last one more turn. In case they pop out over here, we can kind of help defend that. Alright, we're kind of cornered by Sun Tzu at this point, but because we have these, we have our ways. Oh, Lady Tr okay. Alright, welcome back. You do carry the minus 10. Not a bad retinue, but we are not keeping you, nor are we going to pay money to summon you. We're still single. 
Oh, we do have some spare cash, finally. Okay, let's get some marriage out of the way. We have a Prime Minister slot open as well. Let's uh, pick a good faction-wide bonus character first. Um, marriage first, marriage first. Drone Fade's been waiting for a long time. Don't buy, you can finally divorce the old man. And... Wait, wait, we want to marry. They're happy, good. You also had a wife. Um, Cyan, you're 26. My other brother is up. Oh, you guys don't like each other. What about what about Wei Yan? How do you feel about him? Neutral. What what about me? Neutral. Okay. She likes Jian Yong, huh? 42. A storyteller. With a poet. Alright, we can live with that. I mean, we're still single, and Suren hasn't spawned yet, so there's still hope for that. Ah, Zhang Sung. This art is terrible, by the way. But he's the one who gave us the map, or historically gave us, gave Dobe the map to go into the Shu lands. Betraying Liu Zhang. Ba Zheng's available. Yeah, we, we know all the Wu characters. What happened to Zhao Yun? I don't see him on the Gongsun Zan's list anymore. She's 14. She's getting close. Okay, stay workshop for sure, and I guess we keep this relatively tall, but small regional city is enough. Five slots, right? Do we need a sixth one? Land development, maybe? Okay, we'll keep it six. We'll keep it regional city. Tang Wu's going to be another rank 7 settlement. I mean, we're helping you slow down Sun Ce. We can maybe buy this. I do think we might want to consider making a move on Xun Yu's faction and confederate them, maybe with a little bit of fudging with diplomacy before they become someone's vassal, like everyone else on the map. Getting dragged into Sun Tzu's wars, having to march through our territory. It's okay. They want to vacate their home, leaving an opening for us in the future. We're happy to oblige. Alright, they have a stack here. 
I'm not gonna loop them. I'll let them take it and we can take it back. Ooh, what a list. Uh, no one's really screaming must recruit just from first glance. Wait, wait, please don't be Huang Guy. Phew. Well, it was nice being here. We can use some points before we leave. We need to save 58 points so we can use 31 points. 31 points, we can shift some value over before we go. It's now plus 13. Okay, we can't do it this turn. He's putting a lot of effort into anti-spying. Well, Zhou Yu's son will grab you. Alright, we'll hold off. We'll get it done next turn. It's gonna take them a while to get there. Uh, okay, so we don't do that. Our supply issue, I think we can fix it. We also still need a prime minister. Who has the best faction wide bonus? One trade agreement. I mean, he is a former faction leader, so I thought he might. Have some decent one. Koro has a much better setup. I think Koro can take the job actually. She has 12%. She's a burn officer. Alright, makes sense. We're going to use this as our save point. We'll come back and continue from here next time. We probably could start giving them an army. I don't know if they're at war with Duosu or not. They're at war with Jinhuan Sanjie, who doesn't have a, uh, has a small territory here. Okay, so they're not at war with them, which is good. So they don't steal our land. We're going to wipe this out. 
in a couple of turns, no problem. Don't do not in a couple of turns. They might take something, we will just take it afterwards. We'll grab the looter territory and then we'll see if we can purchase some of these loose pieces that we have. We can't do too much with uh, the Kingdom of Wu, but hopefully next turn we can steal Tong Wu. You hopefully do not reassign Huang Gai to a different position. And we can take these four counties here, a very big food depository, best peasantry in the game. And for us with the tax collection office should be very, very good. And we'll slowly just erode, you know, Sun Tzu's home in the south as he technically moved his land to the north. And uh, that's fine with us. We are going to develop here nicely. Uh, we have not really touched the Shu land, but given that their army is kind of trailing through our territory and that, you know, it's kind of vacant back here, we still need to just clean up some of the corners before we can do anything. The army needs to stay here. We need to split the main army up later. Uh, Guan Yu will be with his son. We'll give them a strategist. And then Liu Bei and Zhang Fei can form an army with another strategist, perhaps. Um, or maybe Liu Bei can retain his role as sort of like the strategist general. Uh, we'll see. We'll see which direction we want to go with that. We're trying to play catch up, see if we can become that third king, because right now I think this is a display bug and not the fact that they have two of the same city positions. I hope we can still join them. Still a lot of points, 211. We don't have any fast way of gaining it. We have to just basically gain more territory and level it up. Uh, there's not that many easy targets, but if we can keep absorbing territory through spies, then definitely a way for us to get there. And that's what we're going to count on. So hope you guys enjoyed it and see you all next time. Bye.